also uh, this transfer case Chevy NP246 uh, Yeah, GM246 uh, If you try to separate the halves, I mean here you gotta sometimes, you know, push a little bit with um, I, I use some bolts and screws and then just, you know, put them here expand them This one came off right away, I, I, I basically didn't even need them But uh, more importantly, if you wanna separate the halves just put it upside like this then you you can actually like move it out a little bit like this then you have a little tension on that just like move it out and tilt it a little bit the, the upper half and then you go to the snap ring to your snap ring pliers and uh, basically you know just you go on it open it up a little bit and then right away the shaft drops it, it's super easy don't lay it down flat because then you need to utilize the pliers and pull on the case at the same time this way here it just drops by itself and um, it's super easy that's pretty much it okay uh, a little update here on this one I see a lot of people who work on those and try to rebuild them that they struggle with this two-piece seal here this one and uh, for some reason I don't know why they try to remove hold on let me grab something they try to remove the seal before removing this uh, drive shaft here you know I don't know why that's not how it's supposed to be. You supposed to be as at the moment I loosened, I removed this uh, clip. I saw that this bearing, the outer race, was loose. So it's like it's it's moving in this in the housing. So, with other words, if this is in here like that, right? All you need to do is remove the C-clip, put a big mallet, and you just bang that thing out. Like, of course, a rubber mallet, right? I use something like this. Not even need to be a big one. This one works. Of course, before I did this, I went around this edge here with a WD-40 or whatever, and then a, a little wire brush and removed the corrosion so it slides out easier. But after all... 10, 15 banks, this is out. And now some people say, well, you know, you're not supposed to transfer force from the inner race to the outer race because you damage the bearing. But let me tell you that, if the outer race is not press fit, you don't transfer any, um, any force. You know, I mean... I'm a tool maker, so I, <clears throat> I kind of know, I, I mean, I build a lot of heavy machinery, kept big machines running, big presses and stuff like this, like way bigger bearings than, like, like that, you know, but where you need actually like, you know, tons of force to put them in and out, but different story, doesn't matter. If this outer race is loose, you don't need to be worried about that. You can hammer that shaft out and then now right now that we have this out put this here to the side we can actually uh, support the case that's what i'm going to do next and try to press this seal out without all this uh, uh headache that i see with other people with screwdrivers hammering in there i mean really this is not how this is designed this is designed so you can remove this in a you know in a way that makes some sense down here i saw some needles well this thing is just falling apart this needle going here the small ones is in the kit and i put a new one in there most likely i'm gonna replace all the bearings regardless 
Only if I see one, maybe this down here. I don't know yet. But, well, that, that was only because of this. All the other stuff is basically out there. I just wanted to mention that. Hi. <clears throat> so to show this, um, I set this up with like just a couple of old wheel bearing erasers that I had lay laying around. Basically try to catch as much as you can from the from the outer ring here from the inside. So you have the best support, you know, just like you, whatever I got. This. I think I had it like that. I'm confused now. Okay, so like that. Uh, let me put you here. I already banged a couple of times and I saw it moving. Either way, it's not that much force needed. The problem is when <clears throat> the outer and the inner rays are sitting stuck on that shaft. So you gotta remove that shaft first, right? And then. Uh, Damn, dude, it's not a piece of cake. Just need to know uh, whenever there is a force transferred over a race. In this case, it's not, it's not true. And I can even prove this real quick by showing, this is the bearing that belongs in here. I don't know, I got some dirt in here, but as you can see, you can, yeah, you know, it goes in there without any force or anything. It's on the bottom, here you go, take it out. So if you have this case, if you're able to, in what application ever, if you're able to move the outer race, you... You know, worry, man. I mean, if you drive a bearing in onto a shaft, you always want to use force, you know, on the inner ring. If you put it in a, I don't know the English word for it, into a outer, like for example, in the case, then of course you want to put the force on the outer ring. You never want to transfer the force over the the balls, the bearing itself, because that's going to damage damage the you know, highly polished races. So, you know, basically, that's it. I mean, good luck with your rebuild, by the way.